All right, so now let's go to the next section that's on direction angles and direction cosines. So the direction angles of a non-zero vector A are the angles alpha, beta, and gamma in the, uh, this is in the, again, the domain uh, from zero to pi or an interval from zero to pi. And this is a uh, closed, uh, yeah, this is closed bracket, so it includes them. And uh, yeah, and this is the direction angles that A makes with the positive x, y, and z axis. Uh, see the figure below. So now we're looking at yeah, three dimensional and have all of these um, yeah angles. These are yeah these are the uh, considered uh, unit angles or, or whatnot. And this is based on the uh, axis of the coordinate system. So yeah, for example, if you let's just graph this out in three D. So we have here yeah, we have this is our z axis. Let's draw our y axis, and then this is our x axis, like that. All right, so as we have, and let's say we have a vector goes out here in, in 3D space, like that. And we're going to do what I'm going to do is, yeah, let's just draw the components of this. I'm going to draw this 3D and dash lines across down here. So it goes down like that, and then it goes like this. Da, 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 da. All right, well, let's fix that up. And I'm going to draw it across here, perpendicular across there. And likewise for the vertical side, it goes like that high part, goes all the way down. So we try to draw a 3D rectangle, show it in 3D space. And uh, put this uh, up as well. And then down here. And then down here, this across there. And uh, let's fix it up like that. And uh, all right, so we drew uh, this. There's the uh, vector A. I just fixed the box up like that. All right, so now let's draw the angle. So this is the uh, angles. Uh, uh, alpha is going to go from the x axis to this angle, I mean, to this vector. It's going to look like this. This is the alpha. And then the y one is the beta. It's going from the Y axis, that's beta, like that. And then, uh, and then the Z axis is the gamma going over to here. And this one is gamma, like that. Very fascinating stuff. And I'm also gonna draw a line here. This segment is a component because we're gonna use this, I'm gonna point this out later, put this a bit better. This is A1. I got that distance A1 and the corresponding here is, uh, is A2 and then the vertical is A3 and so on. All right, now what we have here is uh, something very interesting because if we take the cosines of every single one, notice we'll have the adjacent of every single one and the hypotenuse is the length of this uh, vector A. So we take the cosines of every single one. Yeah, the cosines of these uh, direction angles, co cosine um, alpha, cosine beta, cosine gamma are called the direction cosines of the vector. A, and those are just going to be the components of it. <laughs> well, cosine times it by the length uh, crosser. So using the earlier corollary with B replaced by I, which is the um, the x uh, uh, the x uh, vector there, or just a unit vector in a direction of x axis, uh, we obtain, and then the corollary is just the cosine set up here. Uh, let's go back here. That's just this one right here. We're going to replace B with I. So cosine theta equals to um, um, a dot dot b instead of that we'll do dot i all right so let's write this down so cosine alpha so we're going to replace that out and we're going to write cosine alpha instead of cosine theta and we're going to do cosine alpha here is equal to and then we're going to use uh the i this part right here uh it's going to be yeah the i vector i'll just put this here uh a the a vector dot the i vector and then this is going to be divided by a and then divided by um, b length i'm going to divide by the uh, a length and then the b and then the i length all right all right here i just uh, yeah fix it all up so a dot i divided by a uh length and then the i length and uh, again, the I is, uh, this is the I, like that. It's just over there, the I is there, this is the uh, J, and this is the uh, Z, etc. I mean, this is the K. 
uh, K is going top, etc. And I'm just going to erase all these just for uh, neatness. All right. Now, although, uh, however, it is important to include this I there. This is going to be the uh, I uh, unit vector, or the I standard basis vector, like that. So let's say I there, and its um, length is 1. All right, now, uh, before I solve this or simplify it, I'm going to do a recall. Again, recall from an earlier video what this all means. Uh, the unit vector or the standard basis vector i. Uh, so i dot, this just equals to 1, 0, 0, like that. This here is 0, 0. Yeah, so that's, uh, that's just uh, how its components of this uh, vector. Uh, and the length of it is just a unit 1, it's just 1 is equal to 1, like that. So we have that and that. Thus, a dot i, or I'll just put recall that, put like that. Thus, um, let's put it, I'll just leave, leave that line out of there. All right, so thus, a dot i is equal to, well, a1, a2, a three dot one zero zero. This all equals two. Well, the a ones times by one times by one plus the next one's going to be well zero times a two times zero, and so on. So in other words, it's going to be zero plus zero. This all equals to a one like that. Yeah. So in other words, this equals to one, and then the um, uh, a dot i is equal to a one. So this equals to a1 over A1, uh, yeah, the, the length A, like that. Where A1, again, is it here, that's why I wrote it down there, there's A1. There's a, this is, uh, this is actually some pretty fascinating stuff. Once you grasp it, because then you can move this A1 over to here, so this is going to be uh, cosine of this alpha times by the length is equal to A1. So that's just the co direction cosines. Fascinating stuff. And uh, as I just uh, stated, this can also be seen directly from the earlier figure. So if this is the angle, if that's the component there, then uh, this, this triangle like that, if you draw this triangle all the way across there, let's make this fit like that. If you draw it all the way across there, what you end up getting is you'll have something like this. I'll just, I'll just draw it only without that component. Um, I'll make that flat set up like this. And as this is a one, this is this angle is going to be our uh, alpha. This length is going to be a one like that. And uh, yeah, this is just yeah, this is a bit skewed, but yeah, that is the uh, right angle there because it's um. Notice how we have so we have this uh, going across from here to here, all the way to across there. This is going to be a perfect right angle across there, but uh, tilt it upwards which is uh, quite fascinating. So we got rid of that. So we have this right angle, and that is, a, yeah, that's just uh, basic trigonometry and cosine theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. Over a one length, like that. Yes, which is quite fascinating. All right, and uh, similarly, if we do the same thing for the other ones, we use instead of i, we use j, uh, we use k, etc. Because uh, remember, this one's going to be one zero zero. J is going to be zero one zero. K is going to be zero zero one. And you're basically just going to be using different angle, but it's going to be exactly the same setup. So similarly, we also have for the y component cosine beta is equal to a two over the uh, length of the a vector, and cosine gamma is going to equal to a three component because then everything else can cancels when you're multiplying by the uh, k vector, but the uh, last one there. So a three, and this is going to be vector like that. All right. So now going further uh, by squaring the above direction cosines, we see that I mean I mean squaring and adding. So squaring and adding. The above direction cosines, we see that, well, if we take every single one cosine 
uh, alpha, yeah, cosine squared alpha, or cosine alpha squared plus cosine squared of the beta one plus cosine squared of the gamma. This equals two. Well, notice every single one has this uh, one divided by uh, uh, the length a. And then you have this a one, a two, etc. So this just equals two. 1 over, and we're going to be squaring it all. Well, might as well for completeness just write it all together. So a1 over, uh, this is going to be a like that, squared. So we're squaring it, squared, squared, and then plus a2, uh, a2 squared, squared, plus a3 squared, like that. Factor it out like this. Now we're going to get a a1 squared plus a2 squared plus a3 squared. And this one right here, uh, this is just, this is equals to, again, that's just the uh, three-dimensional three, three dimensional trigonometric function. That's just going to be a squared. <laughs> yeah, in other words, this whole thing cancels. And yeah, this cancels this. So this is equals to one. So this equals to one. In other words, just down here, cosine squared alpha plus cosine squared beta plus cosine squared gamma equals to uh, pi, and yeah, equals to one, like that. All right, going further, uh, we can also use the direction cosines to write, and let's just write our vector a with its components, a1, a2, a3, this equals two, and then we could write these all out uh, using the a1 number. a1 is just gonna be the length a times by the cosine of the uh, alpha. And then cosine, and then the next one is a, Alpha, I mean uh, the length a multiplied by cosine beta, and then length a multiplied by the cosine gamma, like that. All right, let's move that over, and now we just factor out the length a, like that, cosine alpha, and then cosine beta, cosine gamma. It's quite fascinating. And now just factor out this whole thing out and move it over. So in other words, and uh, move it all the way to the other side. Uh, so what we get is thus, thus we have one over the length times it by uh, the length of the uh, a vector times it by the a vector is equal to cosine, yeah, equal to the direction cosines, cosine alpha. And then we have cosine, yes, yeah, cosine alpha, cosine beta, uh, put a better B, cosine gamma, put this better B, like that, or better uh, beta. All right, so now let's just box this whole thing in. Yes, fascinating stuff. And now what this equation says is that the direction cosines of A are the components of the unit vector uh, in the direction of A, which is uh, quite fascinating. This is a unit vector. Basically, so if you have length A, I mean, if you have vector A, if you look at the length of it, it's going to be this. But then this is just a scalar number, so you're dividing by it. So you're just going to equal to 1. So it's going to be length 1, and it's going to be the direction of A. So if you have A like this, it's going to go in the unit vector. Here's going to be length one of the components there, and all these cosines are going to be all of the ratios of the of that rectangle box, etc. Uh, as before, yeah. Here's drew a better rectangle box, but anyways, it's just the um, it's just the x, y, z components or i, j, k components of it. So it's fascinating stuff. So going further, let's take a look at example five, and this one states. Find the direction angles of the vector a, which is has components one, two, and three. All right. So now, if we were to solve this, well, we know that uh, the uh, direction angle or the direction cosines. Uh, if you just go back above here, it's just going to be a one over uh, the length a, 
or a2 over length uh, a or a3 over length a. So find the angle, but we're never asked to find the angles of it. So first we're gonna need the length first. Uh, length a is gonna equal two square root, uh, one squared all the components squared, uh, plus two squared plus three squared. This equals to one plus four plus nine. In other words, nine plus one is, uh, or the, yeah, nine plus one is 10 plus four is 14. The square root of 14. Thus, let's get all the direction cosines first, and then we'll yeah, and then we'll do the angles after. So let's get the cosines. Cosine uh, uh, cosine alpha is equal to again that's just Greek letter alpha a one over the length a like that. This equals to one over square root fourteen. Cosine beta this equals to a two over the length a. This equals to two over 14. Because again, that's components two, then the next one's gonna be three. And then cosine, uh, cosine gamma, this equals to a three over unit vec, I mean, uh, the length a equals to three over 14. All right, so that's what we have here. So now, oh, instead of saying thus, let's write so. We already had a thus, so I'll just say so. Or um, So we get, now we just take the inverse. So uh, alpha is equal to inverse cosine or arc cosine or a cosine, one over 14, one over square root 14. And now if you plug this into the calculator, you should get around 74 degrees. I'll box this out because that's what we're asked to find. We're asked to find all of the angles, find the angles of this vector. So 74 degrees and then the next one is beta is equal to cosine inverse 2 over square root 14. And this equals to plug in the calculator, you get 58 degrees. It's quite interesting. All right, so that's 58. All right, the next one now is the um, gamma. This equals to cosine 3 over square root 14. Let's write this a bit neater. Like this. This equals to, plug in the calculator, 37 degrees. Like that. And uh, now we'll do a quick calculation check as per usual. Again, this built-in OneNote calculator. Uh, put a a cos or or arc co, co, uh, cosine or uh, inverse cosine one divided by square root fourteen or sqrt fourteen, and then press space auto calculates, which is quite fascinating. And seventy four point four nine etc. rounds down to seventy four. The next one fifty seven point six eight. That's right. Rounds up to fifty eight. Next one thirty six. Again, this is one two three. 36 rounds up to 37, yeah, 36.699, et cetera. That's quite fascinating.